welcome back to 52 Weeks of Beauty. Today's video is going to be the best two and the worst two things about tape and hair extensions. And I figured we'd start with the worst and then end on a good note and do the best last. So um, the first thing is going to be, the first worst thing is going to be after you put in your tape and hair extensions, whether you waited 24 hours or even three days or anything like that, or maybe you've had them in for a few weeks, when one little piece starts to fall out, or maybe an entire row starts to fall out, or just get a little bit looser than the rest, or maybe only half of the row is lifting, that can be really frustrating, and there's a lot of reasons for that, and I've actually, like, throughout this process, have started to figure out more and more reasons why tape ins might fall out a little bit earlier than they should, or lift a little bit. And here's one reason that I don't think I've ever mentioned before. Is you know when you get out of the shower and your hair is wet, especially the first week I say that it's so fragile. Um, and then obviously throughout the entire process, when it's wet, it's more fragile than when it's dry. But when you put your hair up in a towel, and you know, you flip your hair upside down, you put it in a towel and you put it back, that's doing like the opposite of what we said we're trying to accomplish, is getting the tape ins used to being in your hair this way and not like this. So recently, I didn't have, you know, my little hair towel that I normally put my hair up in that I did in that one video where I cut layer style. That one's really light and nice. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I like that because it's not so heavy, but I didn't have it clean, so I just grabbed a towel, and it was a really heavy towel, and I put my hair up in it, and I literally was like, uh-oh, like I could just tell instantly that it had taken some of my tape in with it, like the heaviness of that towel. Because you have to think that only thing that's holding your extension in your hair is that little piece of tape. And so that little piece of tape can hold the hair, but it can't hold the hair and the towel, especially when your wet hair is mixed in it and all of that. So anyway, my suggestion would be definitely try to, if you're going to do a towel, do it really loose. Make sure it's a light towel. If you can do a hair towel, that's even better. And, um, I would say just make sure it's really, uh, if you are going to do a towel the first week, try to do it the opposite way. Like just kind of coat it around your hair and put it, you know, down like this and maybe wrap like a big, you know, hair tie around it or something. So that's what I would recommend. Okay, so I think that's one reason it falls out and, or just gets a little bit loose is maybe the heaviness of the towel. The other reason that it might, that maybe I haven't touched on much is, this is a trial and error process. Everybody's hair is different. It's really hard to say your everyone's hair is going to work with this kind of tape or this kind of hair extension. There's so many different kinds of hair extensions out there. I recently got a sample from a manufacturer that I ordered and it was triple wefted from the get go. So I didn't have to do anything to it. So it was actually like one weft, one weft, one weft, and it was really, really thick sewn together. And I used that for a tape in trial. And not only could I feel like bulk, I was like, wow, this is not as flat as just like a double weft or even hand tied. So I was a little bit like, well, I don't think I'm going to do triple weft on just one tape in row. But anyway, it wasn't holding up. Like I even waited three days before I washed my hair and like a huge section fell out and the other part just kind of got loose and I was like, oh my gosh, this isn't working at all like it normally does. It's because the hair, again, is too heavy for that tiny piece of tape to hold on to it. So it's a trial and error process and, you know, just try to figure out what is the lightest amount of hair you can put on tape that you can still match your hair, you know? And you can add more rows, like that's fine. It's it's more just the actual row that you're doing. Just make sure it's not too heavy for the tape. And like I said, you might have to play with it a little bit. And once you get it, you got it. Because I already know for sure that that half inch works with my double machine wefted just perfectly. Like my original video. Um, for my hair and everything like that. I know that the fold over technique with three eighths of an inch works perfectly with two rows of hand tied for my hair. And for it not falling out. Okay, so one last thing about them falling out is I would say if you if this happens to you and you're like, okay, just a little section is lifting up, you know, or maybe one one row is lifting, what do I do? I just need to, I don't want to start all over. I've had girls like total panic mode, like now I have to do my entire hair, I have to put weft release, it's gonna drip down, it's gonna get on the other rows, it's all gonna fall out and I have to start over. No, just take it as like, it's not that big of a deal. If you're like, huh, it's lifting, whatever, it's not. Because here's the beauty of it, if it's lifting with before like two weeks or three weeks or anything like that and it's just one part, Honestly, the residue is going to be minimal, that it's going to be quick. So recently, Weft Release, um, I have it now in a spray top available, and I love this because 
This is, I had talked about it a long time ago, but I love spray top so much more. The drip top can, you know, you can get a little bit more solution on the row, but it can drip down through the west. So this I love, but you just put it right on the part that is lifting up and it's just a few seconds and you're like okay bing done you just wash that off peel off the tape or cut out that section get in the shower do your normal thing dry your hair and like i'm setting telling you that weft release are the the residue isn't much in there at all so it's not like you need to do the baking soda or anything like that you just dry your hair add you know dry that little extension you took out put more tape on boom you're done you're good and wait another day to wash that little part and um, so if you just don't freak out if one part's lifting and just be like, whatever, you know, maybe it was because I used a heavy towel or maybe I'll try a lighter hair extension piece for that section. I noticed the sides of my hair, I don't have as much hair as in the back, I guess, or it's thinner. So I can't put huge pieces that are really heavy on the sides. I tend to do those lighter. So maybe a single weft or hand tied there, things like that. The back of my head can handle heavier wefts. Okay, so the second worst part is the removal process where the stickiness comes in. The removal process is awesome with the weft release, just getting that wefts right out, the tape out, done. But the leftover residue is a little bit of a annoyance, and I would consider it a worst part just because it takes a little bit of time to remove all of the stickiness. So let me just say one thing really quick because this really does help is if you've had your extensions in, and if you've had your extensions in for a long time. You're gonna have more residue okay if you only change them out every two to three weeks it's not that big of a deal if you do it might actually be better for you because the removal process is like so much easier then and the cleanup is easier and it's quicker um, if you don't if you're only wearing like two or three rows and it's not that big of a deal for you maybe do it every two to three weeks if you can handle it because it is a lot easier and I've been doing it a little bit more frequently and I feel like it's just simpler for me but if you're gonna keep them in longer four to six weeks and longer your residue is gonna be in there so when you take it all out and you do your first wash with the baking soda, apple cider vinegar, and shampoo mixture like I talk about in my shower video and all of that, okay? When you get out, your hair is gonna be like matted down like ugh, and it's just like sticky and it just feels like limp and flat and you look like you just are like, I think I just lost all my hair. But you didn't, it's all there, it's just, it's like smushed. So here's the thing, dry your hair with a blow dryer, even if it feels weird, like you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm drying this sticky mess dry it. I don't know why, but it works. If you don't do it, it doesn't work as well. I don't know why. So you do that and you dry it and you get it as much like dry as you can and then get back in the shower and do the whole thing again. Get out, blow dry it again, get back in. Every time you're going to be like, oh my goodness, that just took out so much stickiness and like two or three times. So I always talk about that, but I don't think I've ever really mentioned to blow dry it. So really, really blow dry it, get it as dry as you can, get back in. Like I said, if you can wait overnight and do a treatment, even better but sometimes we're impatient we're like ah just get it out now so that's my tip for that so the removal is a little bit time consuming but it's so worth it because here are the two best things about tape-ins oh my goodness okay they're super flat and they're super hidden especially with the double-sided unsandwich method because that sticky part on the top and your natural hair over it when the wind blows and Oh, I can't even tell you like how many times I wake up in the morning and if you've worn hair extensions for a really long time I could look at the back of my head like please tell me I don't have this big huge row showing please and I don't and I'm like oh my gosh I love it you know so like I said occasionally with that calic part after a couple days but usually I mean lately I've hardly been seeing anything I don't know if it's my hair is growing a little bit more or whatever but I'm like this is so incredible for me that I feel like maybe if I was trapped on an island and there were no mirrors and I had tape-ins in for like six weeks and I was with a bunch of strangers, I could wake up every day and be like, my hair's fine and this looks so natural, you know, and you can't see anything. But I just feel so much more confident knowing that I could wake up, walk around and not have to go like freak out and like fix my hair like I used to in the past with other methods. Okay, so that part is my, like the best part is that it's super flat, it's super hidden, I'm putting those two as a one best part because they just go really well together. And I love that I just feel like I can just sleep so nicely and comfortably and it's really flat. And if anyone touches my hair, it's not weird and all of that. Okay, and now for the last best thing is that it's so cheap and it's so easy to do yourself. And I think that is like the best, best, best thing because 
I love semi-permanent hair extensions. I want them to last. I want to be able to do it myself. I want to be able to take them out when I want. I don't want to have to run to a salon, make an appointment, sit in a chair for hours when I get them in, when I get them out. I love that I can do this myself. And if you do get them in a salon and they happen to do it this way, it's going to be so much faster. Or maybe you have a friend that, you know, is a hairdresser and puts them in for you. It's just this way is so much faster than the other way where you're sandwiching. So it's just really... I don't know, cheap, easy, and a DIY that I totally love, and I'm sure you guys all know that. Okay, so the last thing that I'm gonna talk about today is one more thing. So, one other really important thing, you know when your hair is wet and you get out of the shower, and I always say go like this, or go like this when you're combing your hair at first, or straightening, just be really careful. Um, master app is falling down. Okay, so, I have been noticing that, you know how t hair extensions can get a little tangly or get a little, you know, dry after you wear them. If you use one of those heat protectant sprays, which I don't know why they don't call them detangler because I have been looking for detanglers for years and now I realize it's just a heat protectant spray that actually works as a detangler for me anyway. So there's a couple and I'll be talking about it in the contest winner announcement video, which I'm doing I think tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Yeah. And, um, and that'll be up. And in that video, how to enter was just to give your feedback on how to keep your hair extensions like soft and silky. So I have my products I'll be telling you guys about. But... The thing is, is when you get out of the shower, make sure to always put a heat protectant on and the gloss right away before you run a brush. And I'm not kidding. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so silky. So I don't even feel like it's going to be pulling or tangling or anything like that. So that is a huge, huge, huge tip. And I wanted to mention that because it kind of gets into the contest thing that I wanted to tell you guys something really exciting. Okay. So remember my last contest? Well... She never got back to me. Isn't that crazy? Like the first winner did, um, the hair extension case winner. But the second one, remember when we went through where do you get your hair extensions and what type do you buy and all of that, and I had that pink baggie and I pulled names, or a name, she never contacted me. I waited like a month because I was like, I want her to watch the video and be surprised. And I was just like, I'm just gonna wait a month, I'm gonna wait. And then I waited and then nothing. And so I sent her a message in her inbox on YouTube and then nothing. And then I was like, okay, what else can I do? So I went to her original, and you guys can go see on the comments, I went to her original entry where she put like what um, type of hair extensions she uses and things like that, or where she buys them. And I wrote underneath that. And I was, and she even was like, thanks so much for doing this contest. And I like wrote under that too. Like, come on, contact me. I have something to tell you. And nothing. So it's good news for you guys because I still have that pink baggie with all the names that weren't chosen. So tomorrow when I draw the new winner with all the new contest names, if you were part of that other contest, I'm drawing again and maybe you're going to win. So um, I thought that was really exciting just to give you guys a second chance. And um, so I'll have two official winners tomorrow and I hope you guys claim your extensions. Come on. It's amazing. I just, what? If I want extensions, I'd be like, hello, like, <laughs> Um, where do I get them? Who do I contact? So maybe she's, I don't know, out of town or just not on YouTube lately or maybe she changed her email address. I don't know. But anyway, it's good news for you guys and I'm going to do that video tomorrow and I think that's it for this one. If you guys have any tips, you know I'd love to hear them and I will talk to you guys real soon. Hope you're having a great week. Bye.